Hey, uh, my name is Sujit, uh, Sujit Shukla. I'm a final year graduate student in physics department at Caltech. Um, I, I so you're trying to graduate in 2016? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna graduate from this physics year. department. Yeah. I see. Uh, so where did you do your undergrad? Uh, I did my undergrad in Delhi, uh, in uh, IIT Delhi, uh, okay. in, uh, in engineering physics branch. I see. And then, uh, did you have any work experience? Uh, no, not really. I, I directly joined the uh, PhD program at, at Caltech. Caltech. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, when did you join the program? I joined the program in 2010. I, ap okay. I applied to a few places, uh, but the major places I applied to was Caltech, Stanford, and uh, uh, University of Waterloo uh, in Canada. Mm -hmm. And the reason for for that was I was. So, where did you have offers of admission? Uh, I had. Ad offers from uh, each place I applied to. I see. Um, uh, so so how did you shortlist these universities? Uh, right, so uh, my basis of selection was I was mainly interested in, uh, in, in the field of quantum computation, in the field of quantum computation. Uh, that's why I, I, I only selected these, these, these universities because they had, um, they had major groups in quantum computation. I see. Uh, so after I got offers from Stanford, um, uh, University of Waterloo, uh, and Caltech, I I, I had I, I took my time uh, uh, before making a decision. But I guess I, I chose Caltech above Stanford and other places was I I kind of found out that Caltech has, Caltech is much more focused on um, science and engineering, and they have a they have. A, highly focused uh, uh, environment uh, and uh, I kind of like that about Caltech uh, and uh, in my in my field of interest quantum computation Caltech is doing really really great like a lot of famous people are here uh, and I, I like the fact that Pasadena weather is really nice. I see. So, so yeah, what kind of research do you do? Uh, I do theoretical physics. Uh, highly, I, I slowly moved away from quantum computation uh, in my six years uh, of uh, graduate studies, mm -hmm. uh, and I do mostly uh, mathematical physics uh, towards uh, uh, topological quantum phases. In fact, something that uh, got Nobel Prize uh, this year. So really? I, oh. yeah. Uh, so I, my, my field of study now is uh, uh, topological quantum phases. So you're saying it's a really hot and happening thing. Yeah, it is. It is right now. It's uh, one of the best areas to work in because there are, there are a lot of uh, activities, and Caltech is one of the best places. In fact, uh, another Caltech professor just got another uh, award for, for 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 work in the same field. Really? Who uh, is this? Do you want to uh, Alexi Kitai. Uh, Did he get the Nobel? Uh, no, he got the Fundamental Physics Prize a few years ago, which I is see. like another really big prize, $3 million prize. I see. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the point is that Caltech is pretty good um, uh, for all these uh, hot and happening um, physics fields. So, you know, and there couldn't be a better place to be doing uh, theoretical physics, I would say. Yeah. Okay. So, um, like, um, um, uh, which way, did you have to take any courses here? Yeah, I did. In, 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 in my first year, I, I did basic courses in quantum computation, uh, quantum field theory, and mathematical physics. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, uh, so you are completely funded, supported by the university? E, uh, yes, uh, which means uh, Caltech, I think, is different from other universities, probably in one sense, that the theory students here are supposed to do uh, 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 TA work, uh, uh, more so than other universities, I guess. And the reason for that is uh, it gives you independence uh, because then uh, you are funding. I mean, you know, the, you, you're funding yourself, right? which is kind of a good thing because then you are independent to do what you want. Um, so, but so yeah. you're saying uh, you get your own research grants as a PhD student? Uh, I wouldn't say it, a research grant. You have to do tiership. Uh, and TA is a teaching, right? Teaching, teaching assistance. Yeah. yeah so you basically, you don't have to pay anything, and the university pays you for. Yeah, the university pays you. Exactly. Okay. So my, uh, so like on a five star, how do you rate your experience at Caltech? I would say five out of five. Really? Pretty okay. Good. Yeah. So how many experience. students were in the physics department in your batch, PhD? In my batch, uh, ten people were included, um, and ten, ten people got uh, got here. In I my see. Batch, yeah. Okay. So, um, what kind of advice do you have for future students? Uh, who are coming to Caltech or who are applying to Caltech? Applying for physics, PhDs, Caltech, oh, anything. I will, like, I will, what do you wish you had done better? That time? Uh, I would say that, uh, uh, okay, so one, I have seen that one reason sometimes uh, that people uh, 
to not come to Caltech is uh, Caltech is rather small compared mm-hmm. to other universities. And yeah. When people uh, like to have more options down the line in their field of research, uh, sometimes that becomes one of the reasons why they don't choose Caltech. For me, I was I was highly focused when I came, so for me it wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't a factor. Uh, but but yeah, I mean you know look out for what you really want to work on. Look out for uh, uh, where the best people are in that field, and um, talk to a few people uh, before joining. Like uh, was I, I would say the vibe of a place matters a lot. Like. Uh, and that can contribute a lot to your overall experience. So get to find out, like um, you know, what's the what's the uh, uh, vibe of the campuses. Caltech has its own vibe. Uh, so yeah, I would say you know, look look out for those factors. Yeah. Okay. So do we plan to get into academia or industry? I am I am planning uh, to go into academia. I'm, See, I'm so like most of your uh, seniors and classmates, where have they got positions? Uh, people, uh, okay, so uh, in my own group, people applied, uh, so, okay, as far as, you know, uh, one person went to MIT, another went to... Uh, as a, an assistant professor? No, 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 as a, as a postdoc. Postdoc, I Postdoc, see. yeah. Uh, in my field, it's, 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 uh, it's kind of like you have to do a postdoc before you... Why do you have to do a postdoc? Is that very just, competitive? Yeah, it, it is very competitive. They're not, I mean, yeah. I mean, and after I, I think postdoc, they become assistant professors? Uh, yes. Uh, if you if you want to remain in, in, academia, in academia, yeah, it's very competitive, I'm sure, right? It, it is very competitive. So, um, uh, did you have to take GRE? I did. Yeah. So, I do did you want to tell us your score? Was that important? Uh, so, uh, I had to take two GREs. One was the general GRE, uh, and there was the physics GRE. Mm-hmm. Um, in as I understand, the GRE pattern has changed, uh, but in my time, it was. It was like out of 1600, uh-huh. uh, the general GRE, uh, and I remember I got something like uh, uh, 1390 uh, uh, in general GRE. Mainly they look at the quant score, right? For yeah, engineering. Uh, yeah, that was full uh, in quant score. Most had, people uh, have full then. Yeah, it's it, a verbal it, it part where they come across words for the first time. Yeah, right? uh, I had to, I also had to take subject GRE, which was out of uh, 990 uh, uh, points. Uh, and uh, I got full in that also. I see. So if you're if you're into pure sciences, it seems that general G, uh, subject GRE matters. That score matters uh, more, more definitely more than the general GRE. I see. So if you wanna if you wanna get into uh, one of the you know like uh, these. Uh, is it like uh, mandatory to take the subject GRE for physics? Uh, I I think so. I think it is. I, uh, for in, in 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 the US definitely. Uh, yeah. Like at least the top universities. I and see. if you wanna get into into the top universities, you really got to score good in the subject GRE because it seems that it matters a lot. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, TOEFL, did you have to take TOEFL as well? Yes, I did. Out of 120, uh, right? I do not. I, yes, it was a long time ago. Uh, I think it was like out of 120, uh, I got 104. Probably. Yeah, but it wasn't so important, I guess. It's just more yeah, like was, formality, yeah, right? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, th- I think there's a cutoff score uh, yeah. that you need as to As long as you need that, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, did you already defend your thesis? You're about to defend? Uh, no, right now I'm applying for postdocs. Uh, uh, it kind of, you, you first apply for postdocs, you get a position, and then you defend. Oh, and, okay, okay. And then you you want to have a, like a plan and yeah, then like exactly. defend. That's what yeah, most exactly. people do, right? I think that's, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Oh, best of luck and wish you all the success in the world. All right, thank you. Thank you.